Welcome to Adapting Place and thank you for deciding to watch this video. This is a continuation of our Moscow Scholar Tone. We're going to talk about amputation, key fact, key strategy that you need to know. This is a straightforward question. These are concepts. If you need more, look down, you see Adapting Place, click on it, become a subscriber, and then you get this free video. But buckle up, let's get the content and be ready to haste the anklers. Um, First thing, what is amputation? It's a surgical removal of the limb or part of the limb. Either removing all of it or just a portion of it. And it, why does that happen? It's because either it's traumatically, something happened to your leg and we got to amputate it or surgically, it needs to be removed. How does it need to be removed surgically? It may be because there's what? Ischemia and the tissue die, there's lead blood supply. Or you have severe infection like diabetes, osteomyelitis. So these are information you need to know to be able to get a picture of what is involved with the amputation. What are the common causes? Number one is peripheral vascular disease, right? Per peripheral arterial disease, less blood flow, blood flow in the dependent position. Blood going to your leg is very minimal. The tissue is going to die. They become ischemic, atrophic necrosis and then we got to cut the bone and the tissue away otherwise you become septic and die or you have dvt or you have frostbite sometimes you get exposed to extreme cold there is freezing of the cells and the tissue die and that skin will become gangrene and we got to take it out or if you have trauma car accident and the injured is partially uh, amputated we got to do the completion um, amputation there's different kind of amputation you have to know. There's above and below knee. That is AKA and BKA amputation. Above knee means above the knee. Below means it's below the knee. Trans metatarsal amputation. That means you're amputating the foot. That's what it means. Toe amputation. You see in diabetes, the toe is cutting away. And same as amputation is basically right on the ankle, uh, the, the ankle. You're disarticulating the ankle away. These are type of amputation you're supposed to know. The most important for your test is what you do when you see an amputation. It's an emergency. Number one, priority, control bleeding, control bleeding, and preserve tissue. Otherwise, the tissue is going to die. The steps involve ABC. Make sure you have airways breathing, then provide circulation by providing what? Control hemorrhage, direct pressure. Don't try to look and see if the bleeding stop. If you give yourself 20 minutes, 15 minutes to hold pressure, keep on holding pressure until the blood stop. The third thing you can do, elevate the limb above the level of the heart so, less, so that less blood flow to the limb. And then you got to make sure that there is certain amputation that you got to preserve the limb so that we can reconnect it especially if your fingers, right, your hands, certain things that get amputated traumatically, what you need to do, take it, put it in a watertight bag, find a bag of ice, okay, and put it under it, submerge it, not direct contact to the eyes, and then you can take it to the emergency room. Next action, that's your question. That's what you expect them to ask you. What do you do when a patient had amputation, post-operative care, prevent infection, Remember, most of the things we do is to prevent infection. That's why we're doing amputation. Why do you want the patient to have infection? So monitor the site closely for signs of infection, including evidence of infection, right? Control embryos. They may bleed from the stump. So you got to check. You got to make sure the gloss is not, the, 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 the dressing is not saturated with blood. Look for hematoma. And then... This is what you're going to worry about. Pain, 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 pain. There's three kinds of pain you have to worry about. Ischemic pain is, is it due to bl less blood flow to the leg. They may have pain from that. Then the stump pain, the amputation site itself can hurt. So you need to give the medication and deal with it. But the biggest one is phantom limb pain. It's the sensation of pain in the amputated leg. They feel like the leg is still there. And it usually will describe certain way like cramping, burning, crashing. This is a big deal. How did this happen? 
Patient think the lung that was amputated is dead. The brain is playing tricks with the patient and it's due to disruption of the nerve pathway. And they will describe it a different way. It usually occur within the first week. And the patient describe it like cramping pain, burning, soothing, and coldness in the lung. Your job is to not to dismiss that kind of pain. Make sure you validate it. And then no, I feel you, I hear you, I know this is happening. I will give you medication and anesthetic to relieve it. And then the biggest therapy is mirror therapy, which will provide a visual feedback through a mirror so that it can reduce the severity of the phantom pain. They can say, oh, the lung is not dead. This pain is playing trick with me. It will go away. After you provide uh, physiological need, provide psychological need, and that will calm the patient down. Teach them coping strategy. They can resume activity as needed, ad adapt to the physiological changes. The post-op care, you have to know specifically as you help them deal with the complication, rehabilitation, supporting their care. Above knee and below knee, number one problem you should avoid is a hip contraction. This is what is going to limit the use of prosthesis. Pro prosthesis. Therefore, number one, don't forget this, ankles favorite. They need to lay prone 30 minutes, three to four times a day to stretch the hip muscle. You should avoid letting putting a pillow under the knee for more than an hour. You should avoid them sitting down for in a position upright for more than an hour. So those are all tricks. This will lead to what? Flexure con contraction. And so prevention will prevent that. The stamp itself, you need to take away edema. You need to prepare it for prosthesis. So we wrap it with four figure of eight pattern. Figure of eight means you wrap it on the stamp and wrap it to the hip so that it doesn't fall. And you control swelling and shape the, the limb for prosthesis feeling. Monitor for infection. You can have to look under the wrap to make sure there's no signs of infection. Give them adequate pain. And then they can exercise while they're in bed. Their upper extremities by pulling on the trapeze. The trapeze, if you have a bird, they're laying on the bed like that. There is a handle that they can hold on the bird that they can lift themselves up. And this may improve their strength, right? And you can also teach them gauge training. So it's very, very important. As they prepare to go home, they should continue to do the prone position 30 minutes, three to four times a day. They should make sure the lump is dry and not wet and part dry. They can wash it with the soap and water, and mild soap, but make sure they don't just over scratch it or make, make it damp. Otherwise, it will become infection, infectious, right? No, nothing go on the lump. The, the key thing is if the doctor does not prescribe it, don't put it on the wound. So no rubbing alcohol, no powder, nothing, no chemicals on it. Okay, and they should also learn how to monitor infection. These are the things you need to know for the ankles. Simple way of memorizing uh, amputation. And this is what the question look like. A nurse is caring for a client who just underwent what? He just underwent um, above knee amputation. Which of the following interventions should the nurse prioritize to prevent post-op complication? As soon as you see above knee amputation, you know number one is to prevent flexure compression, contraction. Therefore, nothing under. So place a pillow under the residual limb. You should not do that. That will cause contraction. Position the client prone for 30 minutes, three to four times a day. This is good. Encourage the client to uh, patient to sit in the chair for at least two hours. I told you, you should not keep them upright in that position for more than an hour. Apply a figure of eight compression bandage to the lung. This will help with the edema. And assess the residual limb daily for signs of infection. Good. So right answer is B, D, and E. Next one, a client has had a below knee amputation is reporting severe pain, phantom limb pain, describing it as burning, cramping sensation in the amputated leg. Which intervention should the nurse implement to manage the patient phantom limb pain? 
the same thing. How do you manage the phantom level? You need to give them their prescription. Energetic. Encourage the client to avoid discussing it. Discussing will help psychologically. This is wrong. Offer mirror therapy to help alleviate the phantom pain. Apply a cold pack to the limb. Cold pack will cause what is the problem? Ischemia. We don't want it. Provide psychological support and coping skills. That's good. So A, C, and E is the right answer. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Invite them to adapt and class so that we can grow this channel and help more nurses. Good luck. Keep charging as always. Best of luck. Bye-bye.